All right, so today's subject is, is your husband your ally or your enemy? And it may sound kind of funny to you, um, but let me explain what I'm talking about. We've all been to the party, right? Parties where there are lots of several couples and there is that one that just sticks out that is just constantly negative and berating each other. So maybe it's, you know, in, in our diaper bag genre, um, oh man, you didn't, you didn't check the diapers? How could you not put extra diapers in there? There are no wipes? Where were you? <laughs> what were you thinking, right? Or, oh man, he can just never remember to put the clothes from the washer into the dryer, and so now the kids don't have sheets. You know, there's just on and on, right? On and on with things that um, nitpicky, nitpicky, nitpicky things. Wow. <laughs> okay. So stuff that, um, yeah, that if it were you, you probably wouldn't have forgotten them. You know, you'd never leave the house without a diaper bag. Uh, you know, I've heard of guys that will go to the mall without a diaper bag and just kind of bum diapers and wipes off of, you know, other moms that are there. They just, they just don't do it. Um, but, you know, I was thinking about this and sometimes we can find ourselves in that trap of being critical of our husbands and um, picking those arguments. And isn't that what we're doing really is picking arguments and being quarrelsome. And the Bible talks about that in Proverbs 27 uh, verse 15. It says, a quarrelsome wife is like a constant dripping on a rainy day. Okay, and I think that we can figure out that that's not positive, right? <laughs> okay, um, and the Bible talks about what we should be, right? In Ephesians chapter 4, uh, verse 29, it says, Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. Now, if you're looking to ask your friends, Am I quarrelsome? Um, am, am I quarrelsome with my husband? Do, you, do I come off that way? Don't even bother because you probably don't have any friends that are good enough to tell you, yes, you are quarrelsome, okay? They don't want to lose their head, okay? <laughs> they, ugh, you don't ask, all right? If you pray about it, think about those verses and think about yourself. Are you a quarrelsome wife or are you somebody who what they're saying is wholesome and is building other people up. Now, I heard of a quote a long time ago that said, um, no one should ever compliment your husband more than you in public. Now, you may be thinking, oh, he'll think I'm weird. That'll be weird if I do that. So what, do it anyway, okay? Try it, do it, don't hesitate. Because what it does too is not only is, you know, is it nice for him and it's encouraging for him, but it's really, really good for you. Really good for you. Because you're remembering and it's the, just that positive reinforcement of who your husband is and what he does. And maybe he forgot 20 other things, but he remembered one thing. Or he was kind to you or he just, or he did something good at work. Focus on that and don't let any unwholesome talk proceed out of your mouth. He's not geared to remember or to be a mom. Like, he's just not. And so, yes, husbands are amazing and they're so helpful, but they're just not geared the same way that we are. So, is your husband an enemy or an ally? It just depends on your perspective and what you are willing, how you're willing to treat him. And I have a feeling that he'll respond either way. So I hope that you choose to make your husband your ally because life is a lot better. Your marriage is a lot better when you're on the same team.